Join me in the dark side. What up, Star Wars fans? This is Sean Long of LongshotDreams.com bringing in their Star Wars toy review. This time of the Star Wars The Vintage Collection, Boba Fett! Before we get on to Boba, what I really love is that the Vintage Collection brings back the original Star Wars Kenner uh, packaging to Star Wars the Empire Strikes Back. I have Darth Vader here, but this would be a picture of Boba Fett. Uh, I don't know where I put my Boba Fett packaging, but what's really cool that Hasbro is doing, you get a free vintage style um, Boba Fett figure with the uh, missile launcher jetpack, which is awesome if you buy any of the five, any five vintage figures or Saga Legends or Clone Wars figures. So I'm going to send this off and definitely get it. But it's cool that Hasbro even put the Kenner logo on there even though Kenner is no longer around but it's so cool. On the back of these packaging is really cool because they also show you when the figures how they originally looked in the um, uh, Kenner packaging like so it's really cool and tells you when they originally came out so that's really awesome. And on to the Fet Man. I really love the detail that Hasbro puts in their uh, 334 Finn Star Wars figures. He has all the battle damage of his uh, armor right there even all the little details. He has a real cloth cape that he really has. Um, armor, he has a little holster for his pistol on his leg right there. The jetpack, which is removable here, has a little peg right there. What's also removable too is his helmet. You can see he resembles Jango Fett since he's uh, a clone of him. Uh, but yeah, he looks like his dad, which is really cool. And I just love the detail on everything. And this is just one badass bounty hunter. I love. Wait, Boba Fett's here? Where? I see you, Solo. There's a big bounty on your head. If I bring you back to Jabba's palace, I get a pizza party with all the slave girls I want. And I'm a man that loves my pizza and my slave girls. For articulation, Boba Fett has a good amount. Um, his head fully rotates and can go up and down a little bit, which I love. Um, and the helmet comes off. Arms fully rotate going out. This arm is a little weird. It can bend at the elbow, but because of the wrist and stuff and the way it's pronounced, the only way it bends is have his arm like like that and then his hand looks like it broke and that's pretty bad. He, he must have fought with a wookie or something. But anyway, um, so you can't really have it. You can only really have it out. This does rotate, but like I said, it it just sucks because of the way this is positioned. You can't really bend this arm. This arm bends with no problem and fully rotates and the, the wrist rotates. It does have full waist articulation that can go forward and back too. Legs only go forward and back though. They don't go in and out. They bend at the knee and rotate at the knee and they rotate at the foot but they kind of pivot but not really that much but pretty good articulation. Boba Fett comes with four removable parts like I said it comes with his helmet which I've shown you guys but I, I just love the detail on it. Comes with his uh, jetpack which he uses. It's really cool nicely detailed. Has a little peg right there. He comes with his little pistol right here. Has a good amount of detail on it just brown and silver. And then he comes with his famous rifle which has a really nice uh, paint detail on it. I really like that a lot. It, it looks really cool. Also cool if you have the Power of the Force uh, Shadows of the Empire Slave 1 the vintage uh, collection Boba Fett fits greatly in there and until Hasbro I know Hasbro made a two-pack with the um, Attack of the Clones or uh, Clone Wars uh, Slave 1 but that's in Jango Fett color so until they make and Empire Strikes Back Slave 1, this is the best one to get with it, but it looks really cool. Hey Solo, Princess Leia is in her slave girl outfit. Come and see. Wait, where is she? Where is she? Why is it so cold in here? <laughs> there, now I'll prevent Hollywood Homicide and Indiana Jones 4 from ever being made. You're welcome. Size comparison time. So here you can see Boba Fett's in great scale with the uh, vintage collection, uh, 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 Hoff, um, uh, uh, Size comparison time. So here you can see that Boba Fett's in great scale with other vintage collection figures like Han Solo. You can see he's a little bit smaller than the Mark VI Iron Man, but Iron Man is supposed to be a little taller in his armor, so it makes sense. Now, if you're a big Star Wars fan, Boba Fett is the man. Not only is he one of the coolest characters and the coolest looking characters in the Star Wars universe, but this figure is awesome. Besides the little issue with the right arm and being able to bend the elbow, this figure is a must-have. He comes with tons of accessories or, you know, at least two pistols, the removable helmet and jetpack, cloth cape. The detail is amazing and this is definitely one of the best uh, figures of the line. I highly recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Don't forget you can vote on my next review at longshotdreams.com and this is Sean Long saying, may the force be with you. I'm Batman. 
and I'm Iron Man. Whether you're a Marvel or you're a DC, there's one thing we have in common. We have alter egos. And both of us shop at Alter Ego Comics. From hot toys, sideshow collectibles, and replicas and more. They take pre-orders and PayPal, and they know how to be a superhero. Okay, Batman will go shop at Alter Ego Comics, then drinks are on me. Why you wanna drink me? Well, Batman, you need a donut and a cough drop. Shut up, Stark. Okay, Captain Solo, you're coming with me. Stop right there, Boba bitch. Mace Windu, what happened to your eye? I'll tell you what happened in my eye. I killed your father, mother You son of a bitch. Well, you got the drop on me. Or did you? What's that supposed to mean, mother <laughs> Hell knows no fear like a bounty hunter scorn.